Riz and I love this guy. So, you know, maybe it's a better idea for you guys to have a layup, she release, and then a vacuum bag so you don't end up getting you know, the resin everywhere. Unless you got your process down so well for every part you're doing that you know you don't have this problem of I'm gonna have a release now or I'm trying to put my tacky tape and that's not great. Alright, so now um, I'm just gonna wrap the whole thing in a, a little bit of peel fly so that you know my breather won't stick to my actual part and then I'm gonna wrap it in breather. Uh, that's a nice. Yeah, so, so cut me. I'm gonna get a scrap right here somewhere. Stuff? No, we're That looks like someone's using that. Actually, yeah, someone just cut me another maybe like foot by foot section of the. Peel fly. Yeah, I'm trying to cover that over there. As you see, I'm not being super careful how I put this on because you know it has nothing to do with um, the final finish of my part. I'm just trying to put it on there so that nothing sticks, so that I don't have breather and it permanently laminated to my carbon fiber, which is just gonna make a pain in the butt to take out, basically. Perfect. So now I'm taking a breather. Back it around. Actually, I found it. Do you order these tubes in different diameters or something? Yeah. Go look on, like I said, Solar Composites um, has a bunch of them. Someone cut me. Well, mm, yeah. I want this length, but I want it like, I don't know, six inches wider. Wider? Yeah. So, these are actually were fine for that. 